Denver's civilian team that has the power to ticket people who are living on the city's streets actually has not ticketed anyone in nearly two years. Our Mark Salinger went out with the street enforcement team. How you doing? What's up, man? How y'all doing? What's going on? Not much. Hey, I just want to talk to you about the, the tents here on the sidewalk. Problems need solutions. I think every city across America has a, a problem with folks that are red housed. I've talked to you before, you look familiar. On the streets of Denver, enforcing the law starts with conversation. Yeah. Tim Marquez and Armand Brown okay. are part of the city's street enforcement team, tasked with enforcing the urban camping ban. Today, that starts at Park Avenue in Larimer, getting people help. I went with the Department of Safety and I was worried about you just now. The notice to pack up the tents blocking okay. the sidewalk comes with referrals to resources. And they help out with uh, state IDs, housing, Medicaid. And new socks. clothes. I got brand new. These are donated Bomba socks. The stops are short. Cool. We good? Have a good week. We're out. Before it's Thank on you. to the next complaint. Good seeing you again. How you doing in there? Can I talk to you right now? What's going on with you? You doing all right? So unfortunately, we have we have a problem because uh, the complaints came in about blocking the sidewalk. Tim and Armand uh, know I, outside I a gas to, station yeah, cannot be home. The trash and stuff blocking the sidewalk. They don't sweep the camps or throw away belongings. Okay. Instead, they call for a social worker. You're gonna see a lady in a wheelchair. She just needs she needs help uh, getting relocated. We want them to understand that there's always a way out, right? So if there's a way out, that's when we come and we provide those type of resources for them. The team of 11 people has the power to write tickets to people violating certain laws. But in their two years on the streets and thousands of interactions, that was a great, great visit. They haven't issued a single citation. Instead, they use their words because Armand and Tim say fines won't solve the problem. Help folks. Help folks. Once you built that bond and relationship, built that trust, then I felt like you could get more compliance. From gas stations to street corners to alleyways, they know telling people to move How y'all doing? won't help them change. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, brother? You just going you going through it? You ready to make that ready to make that move, get some help? You know, I get, I, all I got to do is make a call. It's hard, bro. I know it's hard, brother, but yeah, I'm thinking about it, man. you need to get well first and foremost. And I know right now you're like, I'm not ready to go make that move. Problems are everywhere. But these guys what do they <laughs> hope they're part of the solution. The team points people to the aid center in Denver where people can get access to things like treatment programs, legal services, and even places to store their belongings. We know Denver conducts lots of sweeps of encampments. This team though does not participate in those and even has rules that don't allow them to touch any of those belongings. They say having the ability to write tickets keeps that tool open, but Kyle, they say that it's not necessarily a tool they use because they don't necessarily think it's useful. It's interesting to see the one-on-one -on -one interactions after all the talk about this program. Mark Salinger, thank you.